Alright, hello guys. Today we're going to be talking about a snowstorm that's going to be impacting regions like the Rocky Mountains, the northern and southern Rockies that is, and then also the north central United States and Great Lakes regions of the United States. But before I get started with this video though, I would ask that you do subscribe if you do like weather related content and also make sure to check out the links in the description for our social medias. Now just as a reminder, I'll be giving you guys my official snowfall forecast at the end of this video, so be sure to stay tuned for that at the end of the video to see how much snowfall you could expect to see from this system. Now let's get right into things. Yesterday's video we were talking about the potential for a Halloween snowstorm in the New England states as well as the northeastern United States. That one is kind of a slight chance like I mentioned multiple times in that video. This one's more of a sure thing. Now we do know we have a storm. It is already beginning to impact the northwestern United States and it's going to dip down into the southern Rockies and then it's going to curve around in the central and Great Plains regions of the United States and then back up into the Great Lakes regions of the United States. Now this is going to take days and days for it to make its way all the way up to the Great Lakes. So the there's a little bit of an uncertainty with the track and how much snow we can expect. So as we get further and further east, the confidence is going to become lower and lower, even though we have pretty high confidence in this one because of the fact it's already a storm. So we know it's going to happen in some shape or form. Now all areas within this purple region are areas that I expect that will feel some sort of impact, whether that be precipitation alone, wind, uh, you know, obviously some areas outside of this are going to feel impacts, but this covers all the areas that I expect to at least receive snow. All right, let's get right into things. We're going to be looking at the GFS model, and this is for 24 hours from now. So this is tomorrow morning, uh, which is October 26th, it's Saturday. You can see we're going to be receiving some light to moderate snowfall for Montana and Idaho. This is our low pressure system beginning to develop for these northern rocky regions. Let's move on to 12Z on October 27th. That'll be Sunday, and you can see the snow, the mod that light to moderate snow has already made its way down into I would say the southern descent to the southern and central Rockies here. So Wyoming, Utah, Colorado, and a little bit of Nebraska and South Dakota getting some of that light snow as well. Keep in mind, we do have snow showers lingering still for Montana and areas like Idaho as well. Uh, but obviously the more heavy snow has moved further and further south by this point. Let's move on another day here. We're to Monday, October 28th morning time. And you can see Colorado, especially southern Colorado by this point, has most of that heavier snowfall going on, as well as northern New Mexico. By this point, there's tons and tons and tons of cold moving in north of it, by the way, too. As this dips down, the jet stream is just to the north of it. So there's, this is going to be pulling down a lot of cold air for the northern plains, as well as the northern Rockies. Now let's move on to six hours further out. So this is 18Z, Monday, October 28th, which is going to be more like noontime. And you can see it's already made a pretty good click to the east, taking over Kansas, Oklahoma, and a little bit of Texas there, areas that have already seen snowfall very, very recently, might be getting snowfall again. We're going to keep an eye on that. Let's move on another six hours, and you can see just how fast this thing is racing out of here. We already have our next snowstorm moving in for the Rockies. That's for another video, though. We do have our main snowstorm already moved into Kansas, Missouri, Iowa, Illinois, and Wisconsin. So let's move over on the same hour to the Great Lakes region. So we can really keep an eye on this system. You can see our little L down there with a 1014 above it. That's our low pressure system or the approximate location of it. We have plenty of light to moderate snow going on for Kansas, Missouri areas uh, like Kansas City there are already feeling some snowfall. Denver got slapped by this one already, guys, I wanted to mention. And Minneapolis will probably be feeling some snow showers at times from this one just with all that cold air available and low pressure systems in the area. Chicago, it's going to be hit or miss here. We're going to have to see how far south this one goes of you. If it goes pretty far south, we might actually see some snow in Chicago. If it goes further north than expected, though, uh, we'll be only seeing rain for Chicago. So Chicago is right on the edge there, and that's going to be very interesting to forecast as we move forward and see what precipitation type Chicago is going to be looking at. But right now, I'd say it's a safe bet that you'll probably see some flakes, but you'll also see a lot of rain with this one as well. Uh, so here you can see on this frame, we're looking at uh, this is... Tuesday, maybe Monday, late late Monday night on October 29th, so probably like 
2 a.m., something like that. You could see Chicago's right on the edge. I'd say just north of Chicago, we're in moderate snow. And in downtown Chicago, we're in moderate rain. So, that, again, that's how close this is. And we're still quite a few days out. I think we're still four days out from that. Yeah. So we're looking at some potential shifts that are going to possibly happen here that will dramatically affect the amount of snowfall and the areas that we'll see snow and the areas that we'll see rain with this one. Let's move on another frame here to 12Z on Tuesday, October 29th. So this is going to be morning time on Tuesday and you can see there's still some light snow going on for northern Michigan uh, as well as some areas in Wisconsin like Green Bay as well as the very very north side of Chicago if you're experiencing snow in this storm you're probably still experiencing a little bit of flurries by this point uh, and it's pretty much wrapping up by that point you can see by the afternoon time of Tuesday October 29th pretty much all the precipitation is out of here now, we're going to look at those two separate regions, total snowfall according to the GFS model. So, right now, we're looking at the Rockies, and you can see in a lot of those dark blues, we're looking at uh, 0.1 to 3 inches of snow where it kind of gets white. And then once it starts to turn pink and purple uh, or magenta, there's a pink and then there's kind of like a magenta. I know it's hard to see on this website, uh, but 3 to 6 inches in that more purplish color. And in the more pink magenta color, we're looking at 6 to 12 inches of snow and then if it gets green where you're at which is only mountaintops on this map so i doubt you're there that's where we're looking at 12 inches plus let's look at your great lakes regions total snowfall here and you can see they're kind of lowballing it i think it's going to be a bit higher than this i think we will see some areas pretty widespread see three inches plus to the north of chicago that's my thinking right now uh but they're thinking a little bit under three inches so they're lowballing it in my opinion but uh nevertheless will take all things into consideration. So we're looking at pretty much a widespread one to two inches from Kansas City up through a lot of the eastern regions of Iowa as well as northern Illinois and southern Wisconsin. Now, I wanted to show a different model here, the Icon model, and how different things could potentially look with this one on the very eastern side of where this storm is looking to impact. The Icon model, which I think is a German model, I always forget where it you know originates from, it has it a little bit further north with the snowfall here in the Great Lakes, but we see a lot of purple showing up, which indicates three to six inches there for central Wisconsin. So that's how dramatic things can switch model to model here. And that's, you know, why I think this one could potentially kind of look different than how we're thinking right now as we get closer and closer to when it's going to be impacting the Great Lakes regions. Now, it's time for my official snowfall forecast. You can see on the left, we have higher confidence, and on the right, lower confidence, obviously. The, the, you know, we're very close to where the snow is going to be falling in the Rockies. That's why we have pretty high confidence in what we're saying for those regions. The Great Lakes, though, this thing could shift north, south, could be warmer, could be colder. A lot of things can change still, but we're going to go with kind of a general forecast for that region and maybe have to update you guys on what's expected for the Great Lakes. Now, everywhere in this white region is where we expect basically to see snow and upwards to three inches. So a dusting to three inches of snow for this entire white region. Now, our second region, which is a light blue, you can see extends from most of the Rockies there, as well as some of those regions in Iowa, Illinois, Wisconsin, and Michigan. This is the areas where we expect to see three to six inches of snow. And again, for Chicago and areas out there near the Great Lakes, we're looking at the potential for things to shift and change. So we could be looking at maybe six to 10 inches, or we might be looking at under three inches for that bullseye region for there. We don't really know. And also that region could set up south or north of where we have it. We're not quite completely sure where that region's gonna set up, but for now, that's what we're going with. Notice areas like Minneapolis are in that dusting to three inches. Areas like Kansas City are in that dusting to three inches. And notice that we have Denver in that three to six inches region. Uh, let's go ahead and move on one. Now, we have 6 to 10 inches of snow for a lot of regions there, mountainous regions especially in Montana, Wyoming, and Colorado. Denver nearly touching the 6-inch mark, so I think they're going to be at about 4 to 6 inches of snow for Denver. I think that they're going to be right on the edge of being in that dark blue or maybe that light blue. Now let's add our final layer, and this is the 10 to 15 inch layer. I think a lot of those high elevation mountaintops are going to be the regions that could expect to see potentially 10 to 15 inches of snow with this one, and this is why I consider it a major winter storm. We're looking for the potential for 
one foot of snow plus for a lot of these rocky regions and could be potentially more major than we think for the areas near Chicago in the Great Lakes. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video, and I hope you enjoyed this one. Make sure to share this with your friends and family over social medias like Facebook. Also, private message it to them if you want them to see it directly. Maybe they live in these regions. Maybe you think they'll find it useful. Just make sure to share it with them if it is important to them, you think. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.